Denmark. Welcome to my channel and my shop. And if you click on this tool here, you will come to a place on my website where you can see my finished projects. There's a lot of them, uh, even though I'm working on a lot of projects too in the pipeline. And uh, that's how I am. If you click on the logo down in the corner there, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and me and my staff will be very happy if you do a subscription. Hope you like what you see and come back and share my videos with your neighbors and friends and colleagues and uh, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna work on my laser center finder. What I'll do today is make these three finger holes in this, it's called the tilting ring, and a base hold here in the center ring so that you can put your thumb in this base hole and then pull the other ring here around by this, these, one of these three holes. It hasn't doesn't need to move very much, but uh, and that we'll come back uh, when when I'm gonna find a method for placing the laser diode. Um, doesn't need to move very much. I think around uh, 90 degrees, maybe maybe less than 90 degrees. I'll use this two flute end mill. It's very sharp at the sides here, so I think it'll do it. But um, let's see. It's a uh, mill job, so let's meet at the mill. Now I set the ring up in the rotary table and made the first two finger marks here. And uh, I space it with uh, 20 degrees, half the diameter of the end mill. Uh, inside the ring and uh, there is a little difficulty with uh, cutting clean on the outer uh, edges but uh, it'll do it'll do so now I'll try to cut the last one of them Focus. Especially the last millimeter here, because of the gummy material, it's, it's dragging the chips instead of cutting it. Maybe I have a weak corner. No, I don't think so. It's, it's not the right tool to uh, cut this material here. But uh, that's a finger ring here. Now I'll switch over and take the center ring where I only have one cut. Now I use the exact same setup for making the strong uh, hole here, what we call it, the base hole for moving the center ring so you have something to, to hold on to when you are pressing for moving the tilting ring and I used my small things here for setting it up in the round table and I only want one in this ring down here and I've taken it uh, by the mark of the zero degrees and I think I'll make it a deep of uh, 
10 millimeter, maybe 15 millimeters. Let's see how it runs. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'll debur it and come back at the bench. Now I've sampled it here and it runs satisfying, but you can hear the burrs. And it is a little difficult material to deburr. How do you do that? On these small edges. Yeah. Maybe some rough sandpaper. I don't know. If you any, have any ideas, then let me know in the comments. La da 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 di da 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 I'm singing this song. I have here the laser diode, and uh, it, it's a unit where you can, with this ring here you can um, focus the laser beam that's one thing and of course uh, you should have to focus uh, the laser beam where you normally operate the distance from the laser where you normally op uh, operate and that's about uh, 20 to 25 uh, centimeters I think so um, I'll do a one time focusing here to about uh, 230 millimeters so uh, that's out of my brain the next thing is you have to um, be able to move the laser diode compared to the center axis, the axis of the rotation of the, the laser. The laser beam is here and then it will form a circle down here and my unit here is sitting here on the taper on the laser on the mill on the mill you have to be able to move this to tilt the laser diode too but there's a problem here big, uh, not a very big one but uh, I will try to take it into account the smaller the angle between the axis and the laser beam is the smaller it is the more accurate you can make your measurement here one have to have the, the ability to move the diode parallel so that this beam can this beam 
this circle can move up and down without changing the angle. If you have uh, your table a little closer to the, the end mill, then it would be preferable to, to be able to uh, have the, the circle a little closer. You can do it by tilting this way, but then you at the same time change the accuracy. So uh, if I can make it so that it only moves parallel here, then the circle goes up and down, up with the same accuracy. And I think that's to prefer. So I'll try to make a unit in here, incorporated in this here, in some way. A unit that can slide the diode parallel in and out and tilt the diode this way. Most often I'll just use this and have the smallest angle as possible here. I hope that cleared out the problems with, uh, with placing and especially changing the place and angle of the laser diode.